Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a great and I would say like quick and relaxing algebra question. Here you can see in the middle of the screen here we have 6 plus 6 divided by 6 and we have 6 plus 6 inside parentheses and what is the correct answer, what do you think about it? Write your answer, drop your answer down into the comment section, we have 3 options A, B and C and write your solution in like in 2 or 3 lines, we can easily check your answers here in the end of the video, so it will be, it will be really interesting. So here we have our question and to be honest, this is a little bit complicated question because we have we have, uh, let me change my pen real quick, we have, we have addition, we have division, we have like multiplication right here, we have parentheses, so we have a lot of stuff here, a lot of mathematical stuff, we have addition, we have six, we have division, we have parentheses, so right now we need to group all this stuff, we need to know what is the correct order to perform these mathematical operators, because a lot of students might be saying, okay, let's go, for example, from left to right, we have six plus six equal to 12, and they go, they continue this, all this stuff with these mathematical operators, uh, with the, with this uh, right side, and you know, they have, they have have their answer and they find this answer right here and they think that this is absolutely correct answer but if you look closely we have right here addition we have right here division the second mathematical operator we have right here multiplication between these and we have parentheses with addition so we have something like that yeah and in terms of math it's really great to know how can we order all of this stuff we need to know what is the correct concept how can we do this and then we can easily say okay we need to go from left to right or from right to left or we need to do like division first then multiplication you know we need to know what is the correct order to all this stuff and then we can easily say okay this is a correct answer because we solved it according to a correct a correct math concept and right now here is this concept when I'm talking about this is our order of operation which is called PEMDAS order of operation this is like the most popular one maybe a lot of students know about BOTMAS but this is absolutely the same thing or BOMDAS something like that we can easily change uh, these letters but this is absolutely the same thing BOTMAS mainly used in the UK India and in other countries PEMDAS mainly used in the Europe in Canada in the USA yeah something like that and you know right now let's try to uh, uh, understand about this uh, understand few words about this PEMDAS okay because uh, this PEMDAS it is not an English word this is like a quick checklist so for example letter P has the highest priority because as you can see right here we have priority so from left side we have higher priority from the right side lower priority and letter P stands for parentheses letter P stands for this type of brackets letter P stands for these type of brackets and you know we are talking about group and symbols so right now let's find where do we have a group and symbol in our question let's look at it yeah we have right here our parentheses so our first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses so right here we have 6 plus 6 divided by 6 and we have inside parentheses 6 plus 6 equal to equal to 12 and you know a lot of students are confused about this expression on the right side but I want to mention one really important moment right now I'm talking about basic PEMDAS order of operation I'm not talking about the thing which is called implicit multiplication I will explain you a, a few words about this thing on the right side in the end of the video but right now I'm talking about basic PEMDAS so we can actually get rid of these parentheses we have only 12 we can actually get rid of these parentheses and right now what do we have as a result we have 6 plus 6 divided by 6 and we have times right here because we don't have the sign between this so in 99% of cases when we don't have a sign when we, when we don't have a dot this is our multiplication so multiply it by by 12. So I want to mention that I'm solving according to PEMDAS. So we can easily do the thing, we can actually get rid of these parentheses, so it's really great. So we can actually say that we complete our, our parentheses part, we solve it. Right now let's move forward to the next step. The next step after parentheses is, uh, is exponents, okay? This is our exponent part. Let's scan where do we have like powers, for example, 2 to the power 3, 3 to the power 10. We're talking about the thing, we're talking about powers, let's find where do we have it. To be honest, I don't see any of those, we don't have any of those, so we can actually cancel this part. Okay, the next part, after after exponents, we are talking about M stands for multiplication and D put stands for division. I'm talking it at one common group, so this is one, one group, okay, multiplication, division, this is one one group and to be honest uh, this multiplication division are tied for priority or importance so when we have multiplication division make sure for example multiplication first then division so we need to perform multiplication first because this is the first sign which comes from left to right but when we have a different way when we have division then multiplication we need to perform division first this is the key moment in this part extremely important part and right now let's look at it where do we have multiplication division part right here we have division part we are interested in this and we have multiplication part so we are 
are really interested in this mm, in this expression. We need to simplify this. We need to evaluate this expression. And for better understanding, we can easily put imaginary brackets only in our head. Don't do this in, in real life. Just put imaginary brackets in your head that we need to simplify our expression inside these brackets. And right now, let's look closely. We have division, multiplication, mixture. This is not this case not divi multiplication division mixture this is division multiplication mixture so right now let's think what we're going to do we're going to divide it first because this is the first sign which comes from left to right so let's do this let's underline it once more right here so we need to divide as a result what do we have we have six plus let's keep this imaginary brackets like for better understanding that we need to do this at first the next thing we have six divided by six equal to one and we have times times 12 and we close these brackets but let me let's use green band for better understanding and right now let's look closely okay we divide it and the final tricky move we're gonna multiply 1 times 12 so as a result what do we have we have 6 plus we have 1 times 12 equal to equal to 12 so we complete this multiplication division part we complete it so let's underline it that we complete this multiplication and division part and in conclusion like uh, our final step we can easily uh, do addition because a stands for addition and we don't have subtraction we can actually get rid of this subtraction we don't have it s stands for subtraction and to be honest 6 plus 12 equal to looks like 18 no we have right here our 18 and it looks like this is a correct answer and you know uh, why this is a correct answer a lot of students ask me why this is a correct answer why you mm, prefer PEMDAS and why you think that this is a correct answer because PEMDAS bottom has this basic order of operation I'm not talking about implicit multiplication this basic order of operation means that we solve this question absolutely correctly this is the most popular order of operation to be honest and we are talking about the correct a correct answer but as I told before I don't want it to go in the beginning because of course we can easily mention that 18 is a correct answer real quick I want to show you the thing which is called PEMDAS does okay real quick i don't want to solve it according to pejim does because pejim does this is like a special case if you need it you can also use this it's just depending on what country you're in you can easily use this for computer engineering uh, computer science but this is not the most popular order nowadays maybe uh, from one to ten percent all over the world people use this pejim does this is like a, a special case but what are we going to do when we have this pejim does the first si the first step is absolutely the same we have parentheses so right now let's evaluate the expression inside parentheses right here so as a result we have the same six plus six divided by six and we have inside parentheses six plus six equal to twelve in the previous step we just cancel these uh, parentheses we get, can actually get rid of these parentheses in the previous step but right now if you look closely okay we have parentheses we complete this part we don't have exponents we can actually get rid of these exponents we don't have it but right now this j what this mean this j a lot of students are confused a lot of students arguing with each other about this j this j mean multiplication by juxtaposition okay also called in Implicit multiplication so we can actually mention it like that something like that like multiplication with parentheses something like that yeah and you know it's what you use when you multiply to think without putting a time symbol so right here we don't put a time symbol so it means that we of course have multiplication but this multiplication have the higher higher priority okay it means that in the previous step we what we did before we divide before because we have multiplication division mixture but in terms of patching does we need to multiply six times twelve all right so as a result we have six plus six divided by so these this is our j this is our j right here so it means that this operation had the higher priority than basic multiplication and and division so what do we get before six times 12 uh, we have right now we have 72 i guess yeah we have 72 and i don't want to solve it anymore because uh, right now we can actually say that we don't have this option because this is like a decimal option right here and i want i just want to show it to you okay i just want to show it what will happen when we'll solve it according to pejim does this is the something like that we just need to multiply this our implicit multiplication yeah and then the same the same ending but in the mid in the midway right here we have this j which is multiplication by juxtaposition this is not a basic order of operation only from one to ten percent use this order of operation for computer engineering uh, for information technology but in most cases people use people use pemdas you can easily see this pemdas right here and you can easily see this answer this is our answer this is our uh, 18 and uh, this is our our correct answer but if you wanna if you wanna right here if you wanna uh, like to mention that you're gonna divide it by the whole product on the right side so something like that you need to put parentheses right here okay you need to put brackets right here and everything will be great but in our case we don't have it so 
you can easily look at this page and as it looks like like that okay and right now this is our order of operation this is our pemdas and this is our 18 let's find where do we have this answer in the beginning yeah we have this answer this is our 18 we can easily see this answer right here a lot of students uh, try to mm, like mention that 12 is a correct answer a lot of students say that maybe 6 is a correct answer because we have a lot of a lot of stuff from here so this is a correct a correct solution to this question okay so what once more let's underline it real quick once more so here what do we have we have a mixture of parentheses division multiplication so the first step we're gonna start with parentheses the next step we, we will have division multiplication mixture so we need to start with division and the last step is addition okay this is a correct order in our case so parentheses first with this addition this is a correct order the next thing we're gonna have like division multiplication mixtures of division the third thing multiplication and the fourth step is is division so this is a correct order and whenever we say that this is a correct order of course we can easily say that we can actually say that this is a correct answer because we solve it according to a correct order of operation and of course this is a correct answer in our case correct answer is 18 i i really hope the answer your answer is the same as mine but when you choose correct answer for example 12 you can actually uh, review a little bit your basic math because this is wrong thing when you say that correct answer is is 12 this is a wrong wrong stuff so parentheses first we have 12 the second step we have 6 divided by 6 equal to 1 and 1 times 12 equal to 12 and addition in the end and you can actually be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely absolutely correctly so we really hope you understand it i really hope you learned something new just pause the video and that moment when we solve this question right here according to pemdas and of course right here i i don't want to solve it because this is like a special case i don't want to mention where do we have this j a lot of students don't know about this about this uh, multiplication by juxtaposition here we have it but this is not a popular order of operation this is like a special case if you need it you can also learn it you can also keep it uh, keep it in your mind but i suggest you to use brackets to eliminate uh, the end ambiguity uh, about uh, in this problem okay or use vertical orientation so the main rule just try to be unambiguous about what you're trying to present if you want to mention that this math operation had the higher priority okay let me just underline all of this stuff right here if you have this type of expression so let me just separate this part so uh, when we have six plus six divided by six and six plus six okay if you want to mention that you're gonna do that you want to divide the six by the whole product on the right side or if you want to mention that this multiplication right here and this point will have the higher priority just put parentheses right here okay it helps you a lot and then you will be like an ambiguous about what you're trying to present just put parentheses okay everything is great this sign you mentioned that you're gonna to divide the six by the whole product on the on the right side okay extremely important thing and a few hints about it because a lot of students try to plug in this question in a in a calculator but when you plug in in a calculator sometimes happen you know each type of calculator to work with problem as you type it in so try to plug in the whole problem from left side to right side and then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation we see okay addition we have right here division we have right here parentheses so the calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation but don't plug in this for example six plus six and type equal sign this is wrong thing try to plug in the whole product a whole uh, problem from left side to right side and everything will be fine so wish you all the best in your life thank you everyone for watching this video i really appreciate it i want to say thank you everyone for your support for watching my videos i i, I really like it i think um, i really hope you enjoy it because this is like a quick challenges every day quick uh, quick uh, relaxing question and your age doesn't matter right here maybe you study at school you graduated it's a great like relaxing stuff here i really hope you enjoy it and i really i genuinely appreciate for your for your support for watching this okay i when you're watching i think that you need it a little bit maybe and it, it, it inspires me a lot to make new like funny content like uh, basic mess questions i really appreciate it so wish all the best in your life thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos and take care of yourself